We have beauty cocktails and girl talk. Cocktails is my water, my sparkling water right now. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> good, yeah, that's what I have for cocktails. Um, <laughs> the beauty question is, your skin is glowing, right? And your skin looks great. And that's the one thing I noticed even on your shows, the, um, the things that you've been on, your skin always looks awesome. Your weight is great. Um, so we just wanted to know what is the, what is like your favorite beauty item that like is your, how you survive? Like, it's like, oh my God, I can't leave the house unless I have this on. Um, I would say, well, I'm eyebrow challenged. So mm-hmm. I always have, if I'm going to leave the house and like be doing anything, I always feel better if I put my eyebrows on because they're, you know, they've through the years, they've seen yes. many different phases. Um, <laughs> but like, apart from that, I use Sunbum 70 sunscreen, which I find, I mean, it's kind of on the greasier side. So it's, yeah. if you have like sensitive skin to that, then that's probably not a good idea. But for me, I feel it moisturizes. It's, you know, 70 protection sunscreen. And then mm-hmm. my Burt's Bees hibiscus, uh, I th- oh no, rose, the rose. Rose. Mm-hmm. Chapstick. And I like, I'm actually wearing it right now. It's like, I, I'm like, and that's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, so you're more like towards, cause I noticed that you don't have on, you know, heavy makeup. You don't have on anything that's making you look heavy. So you're more of a light goer. You're not really a heavy makeup wearer unless you really have to wear it. Yeah. Like, I find, I find heavy makeup ends up making me look older because it just mm-hmm. like the less, le- for me on my face, less is more. It's yeah. just easier if, if it's just like a light, like if it has to be a foundation of some sort for camera, light and, you know, and a little bit of powder, but not a whole lot. But not and, too much. Yeah. Because otherwise it just, you get that sort of dry matte kind of cracky looking face and the yeah. older you get, the, it just gets worse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was putting on some, I walk around with no makeup most of the time and then people, I, I get the saying that oh you look so young you look like a teenager and then when I put on makeup there like you still look young you so and I'm like no I don't <laughs> yeah you put it out you do you look like you have that skin <laughs> oh my gosh not with a 25 year old son with a 25 year old son I feel old even though I had him young so <laughs> Um, well, no one would believe you have a 25-year-old son. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so tell me about your, um, your weight, like how you maintain your health and wellness, how you maintain your weight. Because I know there's a lot of pressure from what I've been told in maintaining your weight or um, on, on camera. But even though in the regular life, you're going to want to take care of yourself anyway and keep yourself healthy. What do you do regularly to kind of keep yourself in shape and, you know, with energy and get going on a regular basis? Um, well, I work out almost every day. Um, you know, I like for me, it's a lifestyle. You know, it's 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 not like oh, I'm going to diet and I'm going to work out really hard and then you know to achieve yes. this goal. It's yeah. much easier to make it sort of part of your life. That's you know, and that's the way it's been for me for you know many many years now and. Generally, it's like I'll go to the gym or, well, right now for in quarantine, there's no gym. So yes. I'm at home yeah. and I subscribe to the Beachbody uh, workouts. Did and, you? Yes. I mean, which I never, like, I was like, I'm not, you know, like, I was like, I'm just going to do my work. And I was like, no, I'm yeah. struggling. And I, I, like, it's because I love group fitness. Like when I, you know, I go to Equinox and, yeah. and they classes. What was that? I said, yes, Equinox. I love Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, I mean, they just have so many great classes and the level of fitness, especially in Los Angeles is like, you know, it, it kicks your butt. So I, I was stuck in this place of like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't have a treadmill at home. I don't have a gym at home. I don't, you know, doing your workouts on your own is just, it's, it's hard. So these, you know, the, the app has like, and there's lots of free apps that you can yeah. use as well. Um, but there's like tons of classes and it's high energy and you can pick, you know, whatever sort of level you're at. It's, you know, it's, it has something for everyone. And so I've been doing that, um, almost every day. And then I also ride my horse, um, probably about four days a week. So that's, that's your horse. Oh my God. Uh, So, so, um, bunny, you said bunny's her name. Yeah. Okay, Bunny. That's the cutest name. Bunny. Um, so Bunny, riding Bunny helps you to stay fit also? 
right. depending depending on what we're doing on any given day, yes, because I wow. I, jump, I do hunter jumpers, so you know it's it's a lot of core and leg and you know upper body. So I'm not just like going on a trail bike walk. It's like you know we're jumping over stuff. We're we're working and and it's it's not for you know maybe thirty to forty minutes. Um, yeah. in a lap. but we're for the most part, we're working pretty hard during that time. And it's hot because you're, you're outside. So Yeah, that's amazing. I had no idea. I watched the shows with the horses. And I'm like, oh, go horsey, go horsey. <laughs> I'm like, go ahead, go ahead. I didn't realize that you're actually able to, you know, burn some calories doing that. Oh, yeah. It's a shame I'm in New York because I would be riding, I would go right out right now and find a horse seat to like, you know, <laughs> that's beautiful that you can do that. That's new. So a lot of people do not know that. So I'm glad you said that because, you know, that's just a new extra way to maintain your health. That's, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's a sport. I mean, it's like any other sport, depending on uh, how hard you train. It's, you know, mm -hmm. it's definitely a workout um mm -hmm. but for me it's always been a passion of mine so it's like to be able to combine working out sort of with my passion as like, yeah. in the sport, it's it's great and then i can set goals for myself for co competition and that sort of mm -hmm. thing so it, it's really cool wow that's amazing let me ask you a question when you go out um like say shopping which is right now um before the the pandemic did you, did anyone recognize you? Do you get recognized a lot? Because I would have been like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I get, you know, it depends what's uh, like, it depends what's on the air at the time. Like when I was doing mm -hmm. two and a half men and, and mm -hmm. um, like in the pros of that and CSI New York and Smallville and that, that I would get recognized a lot more on the street and people like run up and especially like teenagers yeah. and I dragged out of a store or something and be like, oh my God, take a picture. And I'm like, what just happened? I was, I, I was looking at a sweater and now I'm outside with like 15 teenagers that want a yeah. picture, uh, which was, you know, it's flattering. Um, now I, I, I still get recognized. A lot of the time they'll be like, I'll get, aren't you that girl from Two and a Half Men? Or um, a, lot, a lot of what I get is uh, be like, did you go to school at blah, blah, blah? I'll be like, nope. And then they'll like be like, do you have like, um, you know, do you know so-and-so from whatever? I'm like, no, no. And it'll take them a few minutes and then, you know, we'll be in the elevator somewhere. And then it dawns that they're like, are you on TV? <laughs> And my response is like, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, and you know what? I'm, I'm, I've seen people, I've met so many people in the industry and I don't get shocked when I see you guys. I just look at people like you and women like you like, wow, they're really, they are really achieving their, they're really getting their dreams to come true. They're really working hard to get where they are. So I have more of an admiration when I see women like you out there and I speak to you guys. It's like, I admire you. I'm like, wow, you did it. You're doing it right now. So congratulations on that. Let me just put that on the table. Thank proud you. of you, proud of you for what you're, you've been doing. It's amazing.